Hello, this is uh, I Drill Sim Simulator. So uh, now you he see the drillers panel, uh, from which he has all the control of the situation. So we make all necessary adjustments for us to begin drilling. Check the choke panel. Check the BOPs. Open the handler, close the choke line. So now we can start the pump. Let's bring it to ninety strokes. So after we have brought it to the work speed we can adjust the alarms but we just need to wait for the return flow to stabilize and the pressure also to stabilize because uh, it is influencing our alarms at the same time you can see the pit alarms uh, showing minus two barrels you can reset it if you click on it you can enter the uh, settings of the alarm okay uh, here we have the return flow alarm also we can check the settings switch it on that's okay now we can begin drilling so we start the top drive bring it to 100 volts per minute and then we just need to lower down the drill stream to begin drilling here you see the bit depth is uh, 1720 meters uh, but hole depth is 1715 meters so it is three meters away from the bottom hole and that's why there is no weight on bit and no rate of penetration so we lower down the string Okay, we have the weight on bit, switch on the auto driller. We actually begun drilling, you see weight on bit, you see hook load, you see the torque, the return flow, the alarms are set, rate of penetration here. So let's speed up the process a bit. So we are coming back to the real time scale. Uh, time scale. Oop, the alarm is working. Uh, something is wrong. So first of all, we hoist up the drill string. Make the space out. Okay, then we turn off the top drive and the last thing to do is to stop the pumps stop the pumps gradually the return flow is still here it's not uh, reducing so we decide to close the error So we can switch the alarm off, both of them. We see the return flow. The handler was closing. Uh, yes, the handler has closed, everything's okay. So now we can open the choke line to see uh, the pressure so here is the choke panel you see the pressure in the drill pipe and in the casing uh, we can reset the stroke counter just need to wait a bit for the pressure to stabilize okay the pressure has stabilized so now we can begin killing the well so we can start the first uh, circulation drillers method 
Uh, actually, it is a teamwork of two people. Uh, one is uh, the driller working from this panel, switching the pump on and bringing it to the kill rate. And the second one is on the choke panel, uh, the supervisor, level 4, that is controlling the choke, uh, watching the pressure indication not to increase too much. So we can open the choke a bit to get prepared to the kill process and uh, ask the driller to give us 5 strokes per minute. So the pressure is beginning to increase. We open the choke to control it. We need to hold the pressure in the analyst not less than 47 bars. And the choke has opened. Now we can ask the driller to increase the pump rate. Again, going back to the choke panel. Oh, 20 strokes, a glitch happened, not a big problem, we adjust the choke, uh, the pressure is going down, so we are asking the driller to give us some more strokes per minute, so we are adjusting the pressure. opening by opening the choke so we have brought the uh, pump to the kill rate that's 30 strokes per minute everything is okay the pressure is higher than we need so we can reduce it by opening of the choke so 56 Basically, we are already killing the well. So, if we go to the instructors panel, so you can see uh, the bottom hole and all the down hole situations. So we are killing the well. Everything is okay and working properly. So, uh, this uh, simulator is manufactured by Dream Systems, uh, an English uh, company and it is working absolutely the same as uh, any of their simulators so if you saw one of the simulators you can use any of them thank you for your attention